In this question, we, um, we're we going to do some long answer questions in regards to the digestive system. And the first one is to explain the, how the structure of the villus in the small intestine is related to its function. So I think it's important to highlight some of the key phrases. So villus um, is related to its function. So you need to know that its function is to do with absorption. So you. As soon as you think of absorption, you think of surface area to volume ratio as well. And the first thing we will think about after that is about villi. So villi, um, so villi increase the surface area to volume ratio for absorption. Right? And then when you think of um, villi, then you also think of microvilli on there as well. So you know you've got your kind of wavy bumps of villi, and then after that you've got your microvilli on top, which further increase the surface area for increased um, absorption rate. Okay, so microvilli further increase um, surface area for absorption. And you know what? A really good way of approaching this question is to draw the diagram like this. If you draw the diagram like this and make sure that you don't miss out any parts, then you'll be able to get maximize your marks. So with the microvilli, um, so as we have like the nutrients kind of floating in here, they will get absorbed into the microvilli. And the layer of the microvilli is actually very thin. So it's a one cell layer, is one cell layer thick. So, so, villi membrane is very thin and you can put in brackets one cell layer thick to maximize absorption okay good so you know we've talked about a few different things now which cause an increase in the um, related to its related to its function, but what else uh, do, what else helps in regards to absorption? We well, have to remember that absorption is an active process. So all of these um, all of these like nutrients at the top here or in green now, they um, are being uptaken by an active process called um, active transport. So there needs to be lots of mitochondria. Mitochondria are available, well not available actually, let's say um, in abundance um, for active transport. Good. So after you've got the after you have the mitochondria there, then another thing is that you also have the um, you've got the capillaries inside there as well as the lacteals inside there when what and they take away the carbohydrates proteins for the capillaries and the lacteal takes away the lipids respectively so let's talk about those so uh, lacteals transport lipids away from small intestine. And what do the capillaries do? Well, they do something similar. But they remove proteins or amino acids as well as glucose. And when you're talking about moving things away, you always want to remember they're moving from one place to another. So the capillaries will move amino acids plus glucose from small intestine away. Good. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six points so far. And this is a long question, so we still need a few more points in order to maximize our marks. So I think another thing that we should talk about is the fact that moving away these uh, nutrients actually maintains a concentration gradient for our absorption. So removing nutrients 
nutrients away from lacteal slash capillary maintains the concentration grid. Okay, so when it comes to that, I mean, we've got about seven points here. This actually question required seven points in order to maximize your marks. So we do have seven points here, and obviously you'd like to have a few more, but um, these ones are one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we've got our seven points here, which should give us um, a, a, a good mark enough, good enough mark. So, I mean, the, I guess the basis is just to draw the, the, the diagram, and then the diagram will remind you about what to talk about in this particular question. Okay, so for our second question, we've got another long question as well. And we have to explain the importance of enzymes to human digestion. And when it comes to enzymes, um, remember at the very start of everything, you want to define some of these terms. Now with the previous question with the villus, you know, you could define that as well. And that's something that may, perhaps I could have talked about. It's, you know, it's, a, um, it's an outward projection of the small intestine, which helps absorption, absolutely. But in this case, I'm definitely going to define an enzyme. So, Enzyme is a biological catalyst. What does it do? It speeds up chemical reaction. In this case, we can even relate it to the question, so to human digestion. So it speeds up chemical reaction, um, and then put in bracket, um, breakdown of food. And remember with the enzymes, one of the good things about enzymes is that it speeds up the rate of reaction that we've said in our second point. But um, if we didn't have an enzyme, then what we could also do is we could heat it up. We could heat up our body to 100 degrees Celsius and that would speed up the reaction as well. Too bad we'd die if we were boiling as well. So we could say, allows digestion of food at room temperature. Well, not at room temperature, at body temperature. Okay? Yeah, so we've talked about um, those enzymes there. So then, with enzymes, we want to talk about like the breakdown of um, complex molecules into simple molecules as well. So. So those are a few other things. And now the next thing that really jumps to me is that um, the fact that enzymes, whenever you're talking about enzymes, and when, whenever you're talking about any long answer question, you want to really think about examples that can be relevant. So in this case, there are three main things which are broken down by enzymes. We've got carbohydrates, we've got um, lipids, and we've also got, um, uh, we've also got our proteins as well. Okay, so let's talk about that. So carbohydrates are broken down into disaccharides as well as monosaccharides how about the second one so lipids they're broken down into fatty acid and glycerol. In fact, let's even put down what they're broken down by. They're broken down by lipases into fatty acids plus glycerol. Always give examples of how these occur. And finally, proteins. are broken down by, let's say, pepsin, one of the proteases 
by pepsin and other proteases. into um, um, amino acids. Okay, so we've given them some examples there as well. So let's think about it. Is there anything else that we could put in? There's definitely a lot more stuff. We've only got um, seven points down right now. So for this particular question, something that we have missed out is the reason why human digestion needs to occur. So normally I'd put this up here, but I mean, given that we've uh, forgotten that, we're going to leave it down here. So why do we need it? So the reason why is that um, complex molecules can't be absorbed and only simple molecules can be. At the same time, however, you need to know that physical digestion is not enough, that you need to have chemical digestion. Because remember that with the stomach, you've got the physical churning, which does break things into smaller parts, but it's not enough. You need a chemical digestion. Physical digestion is insufficient. Need chemical digestion. And you know, here's like a basic framework that you can use, and there's a, there's more marks that you can get. Obviously, the more marks, you, the more lines you put down, the more likely that you'll get more marks. However, you know, if we count up the number of marks that we've got here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, we're well on track into hoping, hopefully, getting full marks with this. And remember that with these long answer questions, um, that you need to have a, you need to have a good structure so you can get the extra two marks. Thank you. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB Biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.